not an exciting video YouTube I've got an idea off of edible acres I've just put some uh, sieved soil uh, in there first I put wood chips in there to keep the moisture um, and my neighbor gave me a bit of glass so I've, what have I got like I've just had to change all these bricks on the old windows uh, they was laying on this side I've had to turn them up which is a bit of grief because it should all be shooting up soon which is why I've turned them I'm not doing too brilliantly um, tomatoes and chilies there's some leeks just starting there may be a couple <laughs> in there they've been in here about 10 days I can't believe they haven't jumped up um, yeah anyway well, I couldn't find a one cardboard two cardboard boxes the same so I cut a bigger one in half to fit the glass so I've, I've given it a really good soak hopefully I haven't washed all the goodness away but um, yeah it works I think it'll work for a little while it'll hold up had a cardboard box water fight at a party once so I understand the dynamics of cardboard plus it's free and it's useful now I'm, I'm like knee high to a grasshopper at the moment quite literally there's bound to be one about if I poke around but uh yeah I'm building a bigger one here I'm going to build a big one a bigger bigger one much bigger one I'm um, also remove the tiles from that seven meter length roughly seven meters so you can see that little bit coming down I'm gonna make uh, another greenhouse there because um, it's a thick about two foot thick mud wall on the back I've got to adjust that one post where the ladder is because it's 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 that way you know so I'd rather have it that way but uh, I'm gonna straighten it and it's also that way so I'm gonna do that because it's a high it is high there there uh, there's a join now so I'm just gonna drop it just a little bit I'll prop either side of it uh, I've been doing me swells I've got loads of wood chip here have a look that's got to go over to the compost pile I've put a compost pile over in it over there out of the way I've been stacking a load of my old stuff I've cut back I've stacked it up against that wall the neighbour's house I think the, house, the wall's going to fall down before the wood will uh, be a little bit more useful or well, I might have another burn because um, I watched some I think I'll put his name in but I've just I'm gonna burn it and wet it and have some charcoal because I'm I'm, go I'm having a vadrama uh, like an earth mover come in and mess about with some of this area. Take extend this, lower it because I'm digging that, lowering that area there. Behind what this this sort half of it will be the duck house I think and a chicken thing. This is gonna come right across. I'll have a nice mouth for more trees. And I can feel him behind it. Um, I've done an unusual thing with the swells. I've, I've done them once, and uh, it didn't really work. Um, my calculations, because if you see not this one, that one, that's the extension of this. I was I was a foot out on the thing, but I've been putting some seeds in I put these trees in last year um, I've just seeded it I haven't got any uh, cover crop and because it's it's uh, the, the dry stuff on the top the burned like concrete stuff I've thrown down and the, the stuff further underneath the more virgin stuff has gone on top Hopefully it's enough to, to seed to seed it. Um, I've got all sorts of uh, radishes and leeks, uh, turnips. Oh no, turnips and beet. There's a little bit more clay in this in this little area than I wanted. You see, I've got another line of trees here. 
do another one behind and I've got another one up there and I might do one behind I've got to, I'll take some of the bigger trees out that one maybe that one there's a couple there what are larger what I'll take out I'm just gonna go further back to give them a bit more sunlight well hopefully this this works I've got some onions going there and I waited for them to spring up and I've mulched them so I walk with them first and walk with them after I put the mulch down just to be sure because they'll, they'll be loving it. I've got some little baby red spring onions in here. I'm going to do the same. Mulch that as well. Oh, what you got? Oh, let's have a look here. Come on. <laughs> yeah, little... Um, I think they're little spring onions. I'm not too altogether sure, but I've got a selection of plum... Plum cherry... Um, apple... Uh, a couple of types of pear I've got a few to replace I, I knocked that one down by accident when I was when this was head height in weeds um, it got the best of me last year it ain't going to do it this year I'll end up wood chipping all of it I've got to get some cover crop and I'll do the back I'll leave the the uh, you know, I wouldn't mind putting some watermelons in here because it's, it's a good spot. My sun comes up over there and it goes down. It's sort of, I suppose it's about two o'clock now. I'm sweating like a, a thing. Yeah, so I'm going to burn that, get it light at the top. I'll put the user's name in. Um, retrieve the, wet it down and get the charcoal. And when the, before the, 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 the earth mover comes in here, I'll lay it all down so it will get mounded over. So that should help this, this soil for years, thousands of years. A little fire will do some good. I've got to move all that brush. And there's some over there. Got to move them all down. So I'm going to alter that, that ramp where my van is, just that white lump. Pfft. Uh, from about there, I've got to alter the, uh, the camber that because I've got to need an entrance in here for when I have some wood, more wood chip regularly. Uh, to, when I have a wood chip, John Payne wood chip pile. You see the roof I've done on the duck house, it's not quite finished. I've got a few bits to do in there. If you see my last video, I'm just doing some, um, excuse me, I'll trot down here fast. <coughs> Collecting some firewood from all that lot. The larger chunks, I'll cut them up with my chop saw. Yeah, so what happened here is I've got to be quick because of the video will run out of memory. I've got to put a lentil in across here. I'll put the move the props closer. I've got to cut a lentil in and I'll put a um, one of these joists is short so i've got to put a beam across there and uh i've just got to make it strong enough for uh, another maybe another purling strut um yeah it was a bit f funny there was a the first one i took out i learned there was a nail there's a nail just where are you just there. Dirty great now. I ended up lifting part of the wall. So I've got to come back in later and uh, I'll cut some of that cement out and get it in. I mean, they're mud bricks and they're mud bricks. This, this joist, what I took out, is um, that's all out. Got all that out first. I removed all the bricks first, exposed the nail, removed that, and had a little play about. We've all got these. Uh, would that focus? Um, I can't think what they're called. Dog. Um, I can't think what they're called. Dog something. Yes, yeah, so I've got a fair bit of work to do in here. And all this on the floor is what was the ceiling. Because they had a... Uh, you can make out a few bits. There's a piece there. Uh, just a thin, you know, not even half inch. With loads of clay mud um, in there. I mean, some of these beams are quite bad. 
they look worse than they are. Um, one of them I had to cut a great big lump off because uh, uh, it was actually alive with woodworm. They're big. I always thought they was little, but they were. Uh, uh, I suppose the size, almost the size of a thickness of a normal sort of medium-sized worm. You know, they're actually ferocious because these. Uh, I've got something else alive up there. I've just noticed that something they might be uh, worm larvae i'm not sure so i've got to kill them i'm afraid uh they sort of like the the the, the moist the the, the the earth as well they live it they sort of bed in the earth i think and then migrate into the timbers for snacks and eat you out of our snow quite literally yeah so i've got a couple to put in here I've got the lentil to put in first, which I'll do. I'm going to cut into that in a little while. I'm going to start that fire first and uh, come in here and cut this. And then I'll frame around it. I'll do some, uh, I'll put some a nice inset glass in here or something and a window so you get a bit more light upstairs when I have to venture up there for anything. But all this, all this earth will do. I'm going to add a bit more clay. I've got to sort through it a bit, get all the timber out of it, and that will just be going straight back on the uh, 